My older sister is super popular. Whoa. She's so pretty. Huh. <sighs> oh, what are you doing, foolish brother? Hurry up and walk. My name is Foolish Brother. Oh, wait, just kidding. My name is Ayori Tsukishima, and I'm a sophomore in high school. Gosh, you can't even hold my things properly. You're so dumb. What? Gum? Uh. Oh, I'm in the mood for some gum now. Uh... And the person who is bossing me around is Raika Tsukishima, my older sister. Hey, hey, you're so cute! Do you have time? I know a place where you can drink delicious hydrogen-rich water! Would you like to join me? Boys always flirted with her when she walked around town. Oh, what should I do? I'm sorry, but we're on a sibling outing right now. What? <laughs> so that's that. I'm sorry. Goodness. Good job, foolish brother. Yeah. It was even my job to prevent guys from sticking around her. Don't you think she's bossing her little brother around too much? Either way, I wonder why I'm so popular. Ugh, what a narcissist. But unlike me, you're not popular at all. Is it because you're unfriendly? Maybe you should try smiling more. It's none of your business. Gosh, you're not cute at all. That's why you're not popular. My dear brother who hasn't had a girlfriend for his entire life. Shut up! It was always like this. Just because my sister was popular, she always made fun of me for not getting any girls. I feel like she's been getting carried away a lot more recently. It seems like she's super popular at her university, too. I want to get my sister back somehow, but... What do you think I should do? Well, maybe you should just find a girlfriend. I wouldn't have any problems if I could do that easily. Why are you so angry? This girl's name is Hayori Asahi, and she's my classmate. We've been in the same class since freshman year, and we're always hanging out. She's just someone I can't get rid of. We're so close that we hang out on the weekends, too. She's probably my closest female friend. Hayori, I can't find a girlfriend because I'm not popular. You can't just tell someone like that to find a girlfriend, even if your logic makes a lot of sense. Why not? Because I'm gonna be hurt. Oh, you're such a baby. A girlfriend, huh? But I don't think you're half bad, Yori. I think you're kinda handsome, too. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. Well, I don't really plan on getting into a relationship either way. Oh, you've always been a downer when it comes to relationships. Why is that? Um... Oh, uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. It's not like that, but... Well, it's true that it's kind of hard to answer. It'd be a little embarrassing to say, too. Anyway, how can I get back at my sister? I want to prove her wrong at least once. Hmm? I think the fastest way to do that is to find a girlfriend, though. You're right. It's not like I don't want a girlfriend, but... Oh, I know. I could pretend to be your girlfriend or something. <laughs> what? Pretend to be my girlfriend? Yeah, it's not like we actually have to date. What do you think? A fake girlfriend? 
That's a great idea! <sighs> All right! In that case, uh, come over to my house after school today. What? T t today You can't come? It's not that I can't go, but I'm not mentally prepared for that yet. So you can't come over, right? All right, I'm depending on you. <laughs> I'm pretending, but I get to be Yori's girlfriend. <laughs> huh? I'm home. Excuse me. Uh, who is that girl? She confessed her feelings to me the other day. Nice to meet you. My name is Hiyori Asahi, and I'm Yori-kun's girlfriend. Uh, oh? Mm hmm? Uh... <laughs> She's surprised. She's surprised. See now, big sis? I can find a girlfriend, too. I mean, she's only pretending to be my girlfriend, but still. Huh? Oh? Uh. What? Hey, what are you doing? Hiyori-chan, correct? Oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, correct. I see, I see. Okay. Jesus! I'll check to see if you're worthy of dating my brother. What? No, 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 no! Why do you need to know that? Because I'm your older sister! I see. He agreed! Either way, if you're going to be my baby brother's girlfriend, you have to... Um... Uh... You need... That! What does she need exactly? Anyway, I'm going to start testing you right now. Come to the living room. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, before that, um, here you go. I'll take that. Phew, that, that was so scary. But what is she even planning? Whether I have a girlfriend or not has nothing to do with her. Maybe she doesn't want her little brother to have a girlfriend. Or maybe she's trying to test me because she doesn't want to approve of us. My sister? There's no way! Are you sure? It seems like that to me, though. She's the type of sister who forces her brother out on a weekend to make him hold her bags. If she didn't care about you, I don't think she'd try to spend her weekend with you, though. Hey, Yuri, you don't get it at all. Really? Then what do you think? Hmm. I figured it out. She probably has doubts about our relationship. Our relationship? I mean, there's no way I'd actually find a girlfriend, right? Do you want to wipe your tears? I do. Either way, my sister is doubting us and trying to expose the fact that we're actually a fake couple. And after she exposes us, she's going to make fun of me. That's definitely it. Are you sure? Anyway, Hayori, please do your best so she doesn't find out. Yeah, yeah, got it. And that's how we stepped foot into the living room. You're here. So, what are you planning to do? <laughs> if you're my little brother's girlfriend, you have to know everything about him. What? Is that how couples are? I don't think so. It's normal to have a thing or two that you want to hide from your significant other. Well, is that how couples are? Well, I mean, that's what I think at least. Well, some people have opinions like that, too. But, 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 but whether you deserve my brother is another story. 
she's not as scary as she was earlier. My sister just has a scary face, but she's kind of a dummy on the inside. So anyway, I'm going to quiz you now. If you even get one question wrong, you two need to break up. How many questions are you going to ask? Three. That's kind of easy. Question number one. How old is my little brother? He's 17, isn't he? <sighs> That's correct. You're pretty good. That was so easy. <laughs> After that, the questions my sister asked were quite easy, and Hayori answered all of them correctly. There's no problem with Hayori and I dating now, right? Uh. <laughs> she seems to be angry. She actually looks like an older sister who doesn't want her little brother to be taken away from her. Why are you so specific? Oh, I'm just assuming. Fine, I'll approve. You should just make out around there or something. She's gone. Huh, we won. I was finally able to get back at my sister. I mean, I wanted to win by actually finding a girlfriend, but... Um, can I ask you a question? What is it? I asked you this before, too, but can you tell me why you're so negative when it comes to relationships? Oh, um, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm not biologically related to my father. What? Does that mean... Well, just that my mom was doing funky things like that. My dad left the house because of that. It was probably when I was in elementary school. We were technically a wholesome family until then. But because of that, I don't know what love really is. Everyone thinks that love is such an amazing thing, but... I just can't seem to think that way. So I can't be very positive about relationships, something like that. I'm sorry, I asked you that so casually. Not at all, don't worry about it. Besides, I'm not that negative about it now. Really? When my mom remarried my current dad, my sister and I became step-siblings, but at the time, she was super nice to me. My sister acts this way now, but... I still appreciate her and have always wanted to do something to thank her. That's why I decided to protect her. Protect her? She's super popular because of her looks. She draws some weird guys too. That's why I want to protect her from sketchy guys like that. So I don't really care about finding a girlfriend now. Of course, it's not that I don't want one, but... I see... I'm sorry for making you pretend to be my girlfriend for that reason. Not at all. I'm the one who suggested it, so don't worry about it. Thanks. You're an amazing friend, Hayori. Listen. Huh? There will be a day when you don't have to protect your sister anymore, right? Well, yeah, if she finds a good guy. When that time comes... You'll be able to be more positive about relationships, right? You might be right. Well, just because I'm more willing to be in a relationship doesn't mean that I'll immediately find a girlfriend, though. About that, can I reserve that spot? What? Does that mean... I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> oh, it's just a joke. I was joking. Forget what I said. Oh. Huh? Jesus! I just heard everything. Uh. Hiyori-chan, come to my room for a minute, won't you? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, what about me? You stay right there. Oh, yes. All right, then. Uh, um... I'm sorry. Huh? It seems like my little brother involved you in his mess. What? Oh, not at all. Uh, I'm the one who suggested it. <sighs> you say that, but 
You have feelings for my brother, don't you? Uh, y you can tell? It's so obvious. Huh. My foolish brother is clueless, so he didn't notice it at all. Oh, goodness, it's pointless. You have to tell that foolish brother of mine clearly, or else he won't get the hint. Um, does that mean you're gonna support me? What? It seemed like you absolutely hated the fact that I was with him earlier, but... Uh, th that's... Uh, um... You like your little brother, don't you? Ah, oops. You just said oops, didn't you? Uh, I didn't. My hips made that noise, and they don't lie. That's a problem! This is what people call a strained back. Shouldn't your back make a different sound, then? Girl, is there a point in continuing this aimless conversation? There is. Why? We haven't cleared anything up. Uh. Back to the subject at hand. You're right, I'll admit it. I actually have a brother complex. Then why have you always been mean to him? Because that boy... He's always worried about me and not caring about himself at all. He's a good boy and can find a million girlfriends if he puts his mind to it, you know? But he won't because he wants to protect me or whatever. You noticed. It's not even that. He told me that in person when he was in middle school. He said, You're reckless on your own, sis, so I'll protect you. I see. But as his older sister, I want him to be happy. That's why I wanted to make him hate me. But he... he hasn't changed at all. I see. That means you want him to find a girlfriend, right? So why did you test me earlier? That's because I didn't want my little brother to be taken away from me. Your feelings are very complicated, aren't they? Well, you don't seem like a bad girl, so I can relax and leave my baby brother to you. <laughs> wow, you clearly look like you don't want to hand him over to me. <sighs> I can't be attached to my brother forever. I'll make my resolve too. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk to him. Oh! oh. You were eavesdropping on us? W well, yeah. Since when? From the moment you said, all right, then. You heard every single thing, then. But I used the restroom in the middle of the conversation, so... I left around the time you said, you say that, bud, and then came back when you said, I actually have a brother complex. You didn't hear the main thing I wanted you to hear, but you had to listen in on the one thing I didn't want you to hear? You? Can you not be relieved that he didn't hear the thing that you didn't want him to know? That was the reason you were mean to me? Yori, you don't need to worry about me. So I want you to respond to her feelings properly. Her? Yep, seems like Hiyori-chan has feelings for you. <laughs> Why did you expose me? Of course I'm going to expose you. Hiyori likes me? But, but you also love him too. My feelings are different. I love him as a family member. That's a lie. Why would you say that? Huh? What? How did you get that? What? Is that a picture of me sleeping? Huh. There was another one on the floor. Uh, uh, I thought I hit everything properly. It was so obvious. It was peeking out from under your closet. Oh, my baby brother collection! 
are you really going to continue to say that you love him as a family member? <laughs> but I'm his older sister. Even if we're step-siblings, I can't date him. The person who's going to decide that should be Iori, shouldn't it? Oh. Glance. Glance. Huh? They want me to decide now, here? I want to have some time to think about it. Gosh, he ran away. He's so indecisive. That's not it. It's all so sudden that my mind hasn't caught up to it yet. Besides, I don't want to decide on something this important on an impulse. Yori. Um, I'll think about it properly, and I'll give you a genuine answer. Okay. That's fine by me. Thanks. All right, I'll try to come up with an answer as soon as possible. Specifically, by tomorrow. That's, That's so fast! Bonus clip. You have a nice body on it, son. <laughs> right? Must be nice and jealous. You're starting to get there, sweetie. Not as good as mine, but you should have confidence. Yoi, what kind of girls are your type? Huh? Oh, your older sister is also curious about that. Answer quickly, foolish brother. A girl who doesn't cheat. He's very serious, isn't he? Um, how do I say this? Uh, sorry for asking? You want a girl who doesn't cheat, but are lovers and biases different? Huh? Of course they are. Hey, tell me why. I mean... Do you... Do you not love me anymore? Of course that's not it. I do love you. How much? I wrote her anniversary down in my calendar with a heart. That's how much. That doesn't help describe how much you love me. My name is Kazashi Matsunaga. I'm a third year in high school, and I have a girlfriend who I've been dating since my freshman year. Uh. My girlfriend's name is Miwa Ayasato. Uh. Miwa was in the same class as me in my freshman year and sat next to me. Because of that, we started talking. We had the same hobbies and interests, so we got along immediately. We were just friends at first, but... Listen, should we try being in a relationship? What? Uh, I mean, we get along well, right? When I'm with you, I feel comfortable, and I have a lot of fun being with you, too. Less than lovers, more than friends might also be good, but... I want to be something a little more official. Oh. Is that bad? Nope, I was thinking the same thing. R really? Our relationship now is good too, but once the two of us start dating other people, we won't be able to hang out the same way, right? But if we get into a relationship, we can be together all the time. So I think it's a great idea. So too. Then we're gonna be a couple from now on. Yep, I'm super excited. Just like that, the two of us started dating. We became a popular lovey-dovey couple on campus, and. Oi. Poke. <sighs> <laughs> How dare us you do that! What? Shakespeare? Is that you? But we were currently in the middle of a horrible crisis. Why won't you sign your name on these marriage papers, Kazashi? I mean, we're still students. Who cares? You're just gonna sign your name. I'll be satisfied if you just sign your name here. Sign it! I won't.
Why are we in this situation, you ask? The reason was straight and simple. It was because we were going to end up separated once we graduated from high school. I was going to attend a university in the city, while Mewa was going to a university in the countryside. Because of that, I was planning to live alone in the city. So basically, we were going to be physically separated. On top of that, Miwa was apparently super worried that a flashy city girl was going to steal me away. She doesn't trust me at all. <laughs> and that's why Miwa wants to show her some kind of commitment and some marriage papers. Apparently, I could reassure Miwa by getting married to her. But I've been denying her pleas. Because of that, there was a crack in our relationship. I mean, I do want to get married to Miwa. After all, I love her. My camera roll is full of pictures of Miwa, and I've even created a Miwa exclusive photo album. But if I'm being honest, I had a bit of a negative feeling about marriage. These feelings weren't about getting married to Miwa, but of the concept of marriage itself. This was because I have complicated family issues and don't have a very good mindset when it comes to marriage. That's why I didn't know what to do when Mira rushed me into signing these marriage papers. Either way, please just give up already. I'm not going to sign my name there. It's too early for us. Ugh. If you want to act like that, fine. I have an idea too. And that idea is... I won't tell you. Ah, oh, goodness. Gosh, 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 gosh! I, Miwa Ayasato, have a boyfriend. My boyfriend's name is Kazushi Matsunaga. We've been dating since freshman year. We get along super well and I have so much fun being with him. I want to stay by his side forever. But... Why is Kazushi leaving me and heading off alone? I assumed that Kazushi was going to apply to the same university as me. Based on Kazushi's future plans, it was a bit strange that he was going to enroll in a university in the city too. But he ended up choosing a university in the city. I tried to follow him there, but my parents told me it was too early to start living on my own. Kazushi also told me that I shouldn't decide my future for him, which I thought was very true. I reluctantly decided to enroll in my first choice university. I mean, that was all fine. We had different paths we wanted to take in life. I knew that we'd have no choice but to be separated for a little while. <sighs> Mommy, that girl is sighing so big. She is? What a huge sigh. But Kazushi at the time, I felt like he just wanted to get away from here no matter what. It felt like he didn't have any hesitation about being separated from me. Thinking back, I haven't been able to accept Kazushi's love properly since that moment. No matter how many times he tells me that he loves me. Then why is he leaving me? I can't help but think about things like that. I'm starting to hate myself for thinking that way too. I'm such a clingy and annoying girlfriend. Onee-chan? Huh? When did this girl... Wait, who is she? Miwa Onee-chan? Huh? How do you know my name? I knew it! You're Kazushi Onichan's girlfriend, right? Huh? Kazushi Onichan. Wait, what does that mean? How do you know Kazushi? Oh, I'm Tamamo, Kazushi Onichan's little sister. What? Huh? Since when did Kazushi have a little sister? 
Honey Chan always tells me about you. You're super duper in love, right? What? Uh, yeah. Have you two kissed? She's so mature for her age. Um. Thanks for dropping my sister home. It's fine. I was worried about sending her home alone, too. More importantly, this is my first time hearing about you having a little sister. I visited your house a bunch of times, but I've never met her. Oh, we started living together recently. Recently? My parents got remarried. Uh, I didn't hear about that either. I don't think I needed to mention it. It's just personal information anyway. Huh. I'm getting kind of irritated. Listen, I love you, Kazashi. Do you get that? What? Oh yeah, I know that. So personal information or not, I want to know everything about you. Even if it's pointless information, I want to talk about everything with you. So don't make it sound like I'm not interested in you. I don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? Huh? Are you fighting? You two are lovey-dovey, right? It's not good to fight. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're not fighting. Yeah. Anyway, you're an adorable little sister. <laughs> Good girl. Well, yeah. I want a big sister like Miwa Onechan. What? Did you hear that, Kazushi? What am I supposed to do about that? You know, if we get married, you know. I told you, we can't. It's too soon. Oh, gosh, you're so stingy. You're not getting married. What? Oh, Nichan, I want a big sissy. Uh, that's, um, well. Oh? Kazashi's resolve is wavering. <gasps> I just thought of a good idea. Hey, hey. Tamamo-chan, you want an older sister? Yes, I do! And will you get your Onei-chan signature stamp and press it here? Okay. You can't do that! I can't? <laughs> I knew it! Kazushi can't be strict when it comes to his little sister. In that case, I'll team up with Tamamo-chan. I'll create a situation where he'll have no choice but to sign these marriage papers. All right, I'll distract Kazashi, so go get me his signature stamp. Yes, ma'am! Um, recently my girlfriend and stepsister have been acting very sketchy. Sneak, sneak. Hey, give me attention. Um. Ouch. What are they doing? Are you okay, Tamamo-chan? Uh, this cardboard box is so dark and I can't see anything in front of me. Then let's change it up so that you can see. Is that background noise really necessary for your cardboard DIY? Whether it's necessary or unnecessary is up to me. What are you, a Pokemon trainer? All done. Why? We can pretend to be a snake now. I have to buy a walkie-talkie now. Not fair. I want them to include me, too. 
No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. Oh, Tamamo chan, do you want to eat a snack? Why? I do. You're so mean. I'm technically your boyfriend, you know? Can't you give me some attention, too? Well, it's a good thing that my girlfriend and little sister are close. It's a great thing. Anyway, Kazushi, the thing is, Tamamo-chan has been saying that she wants an older sister. I want to make her my baby sister, too, you know? She's so cute. Yeah? So that's that. Here you go. Um. Jesus! <laughs> what are you doing? Everything would have been perfect if things like this weren't happening, though. It seems like my girlfriend teamed up with my sister to make me sign the marriage papers. Oni-chan, you won't give me a big sister? Yeah, you should talk to your mom about that. Come on, even if she talks to her parents, she'll only end up with a little sister. A bird is going to carry a baby to us, right? I want a baby sister, too. Oh, she's so cute! By the way, my signature stamp is in the safe, so you won't be able to open it. Tamamo-chan, what's the password for the safe? 4646. Hey, hey! Tamamo-chan, you can't tell me. What? What are you, an annoying baseball coach who tells everyone to go home and gets mad when they actually do? By the way, did you know that that's actually gaslighting? Don't try to gaslight my little sister. I'm gonna listen to Onetan. She's being gaslighted? Well, let's return to the subject at hand, huh? Anyway... I'm not going to sign those marriage papers just because you team up with my sister, okay? <sighs> While you're saying that, Tamomo-chan has already gotten her hands on your signature stamp. Here you go, Oni-chan. Oh, this is such a cute stamp of a bear. <sighs> Gosh, why are you sighing? You don't want to marry me that much? I bet you don't even love me at all. I told you, that's not what this is about. Then why are you going to leave me? I'm sorry, I was wrong for saying that. We have different paths in life, so I shouldn't have said it like that. No, I'm sorry too. <sighs> I wanted to be with her too. I wanted to go to the same university as her and enjoy our campus life together, but... Oh, is that your girlfriend? Oh, Mommy! Oh, hello! Thank you for having me. Of course, please get comfortable. Yes, ma'am! By the way, I think we should have some tea and snacks. Oh no, it's fine. I'll go grab them. Yeah? Okay, could you please grab them then? Okay, I'm gonna make some tea. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Whew, she saw something I didn't want her to see. <clears throat> Kazushi? The following day. Hmm. Kazushi was acting weird. That woman is Tamamo chan's mother and Kazushi's father's new wife, right? They just started living together, so it's probably normal that they're acting like strangers, but it seems like they were pretty awkward. But now that I think about it, I don't know Kazashi at all. Of course, I knew a good deal about his favorite foods, foods he didn't like, his weaknesses and strengths. I knew that he was a strong-willed and didn't give in once he decided on something. I also know that he treasures me. I'm very proud to say that he's my boyfriend, and I thought that I knew him pretty well. But from a wider perspective, 
there was a lot that I didn't know about. And now that I think about it, Kazushi doesn't talk about himself very often. It's not like he's keeping it a secret, but he probably thinks that I'm not interested in personal information. That's why he doesn't talk about himself. Kazushi probably doesn't know how much I love him. Even though I love him enough to write down our anniversary in our calendar with a heart. <sighs> Gosh. Huh? Thank you for everything, Kazushi-kun. Not at all. Don't worry about it. It's easily done. <laughs> in that case, I might depend on you again. What? Kazushi seems super close to another girl. I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with him having one or two close female friends. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm super proud that he's my boyfriend. <laughs> what is this? I'm so jealous. <sighs> I've made my decision. If I'm going to be a college student and have Kazushi stolen from me by some cute, flashy city girl, I have no choice but to force him to be mine. So that's that, Kazushi. Prepare yourself. Prepare myself for what? You've been whining about how you don't want to get married to me, so I've decided to take the final step necessary. I wasn't whining. Okay, Tamamo-chan, do it! Aye, aye, Captain! What are you planning to do? Tickle you! That's so cute. All right! If you don't want that to happen, then you must sign the marriage papers. Sure, do what you want. I'm not ticklish. Uh, he's not lying. It doesn't work at all. Oh, you made Tomomo-chan cry. <laughs> My heart hurts. You're just saying whatever now, aren't you? You don't want to marry me that much. I never said that I didn't want to marry you, did I? I'm just saying that it's too soon. Listen, can you actually talk to me? Talk? About what? About you, Kazushi. I had no clue about your little sister or about your dad getting remarried. I won't know you if you don't talk to me. And why you chose to go to a university in the city, things like that. Talk to me, it makes me super sad because you won't communicate with me. Well, it's not like I was purposefully hiding it. It's also not that I don't want to talk to you. It's just, well, I thought you think I was lame. So it was hard to tell you and... sure to think that you're lame. So mean, aren't you? Even if I find out one or two things about you that are lame, who cares if I already know 100 things that make you amazing? Oh, it's just I felt uncomfortable being at home. At home? I never told you about it, did I? I was my mom's... Oh, oh no, not my stepmom, okay? I was originally a stepson of my father, so I'm not biologically related to him. What? So when my mom passed away, my dad raised me even though we weren't biologically related. He's a great person, so now that he remarried, he has a new family. Oh. It's a strange family where none of us are really related by blood, but everyone seems so happy, and I feel like the odd one out. I feel like Tamamo's mom is a bit reserved around me. And that's why you wanted to leave? I think Dad wants to enjoy his time with his new family, too. Of course, I know that they're not people who would think that I'm in the way, but when I started thinking about how I might be a bother for them, you know. Oh. Well, that's that. I felt a little uncomfortable here, so I chose university in the city. Why didn't you tell me? Like I said, it's lame, isn't it? 
I kind of sound like a clingy and whiny guy. Stupid. You should have told me if you felt lonely, I would have given you attention instead. That makes me such a clingy guy. And that's fine. You're my boyfriend. So in exchange, you just need to give me attention as my boyfriend when I'm feeling lonely. When you keep all your problems in like that, I don't know what I should do. Oh. Rather than not knowing what I could do for you, it's better to know that I could solve everything by giving you attention. Simple and clear, right? You're absolutely right. But, thank God, I was honestly worried. I was starting to think that you wanted to distance yourself from me or something like that. Of course not. I I love you, Miwa. Kazushi. Ah. Uh, um. What is it? Are you going to uh, kiss? What? You're going to kiss, aren't you? Oh, my heart is beating so fast. I want to see you do kiss. She's, She's so, so mature, mature for her age. age. Back to the subject at hand. But why won't you sign your name on the marriage papers? Well, you know how I have a complicated family, right? So, I don't know. I just can't think of marriage in a good way. Even if you're getting married to me? I'm not saying that, but at the very least, I think we should get married after we become proper adults who can take our responsibility. I don't want to make a careless promise for the future and break that promise later on. Oh gosh, you're so stingy! Did you hear what I said? I think I said something pretty wise. It didn't move my heart at all. You're so mean. Well, fine, I guess I can wait for you. But if some flashy city girl brings you to her house, I'm not going to forgive you, okay? You don't have to worry about that. I only have eyes for you, Miwa. <laughs> You're so stupid, I know that! And just like that, it seems like it would take just a bit longer for the two of us to get married. Bonus clip. Onita-chan! Did you kiss my onita You're so mature for your age! What does a kiss taste like? I want to know too! Um, let's see. My first kiss tasted like pickled vegetables. Pickled, huh? Pickled vegetables, pickled, pickled. Tamamo's been singing a weird song recently. Do you know what that's about? Nope, not a clue. Uh, I should hurry up and play games, huh? Sneak, sneak. What are you doing? Huh? Hold on, hold on, don't run away. What were you doing with someone else's shoebox? From what I could see, the shoebox that was being messed around belonged to... Just let that girl go. Huh? huh? Don't worry, don't worry. Are you sure? That girl was messing around with your shoebox, you know? I told you, it's fine. I don't really care. What's all that about? The guy that she has a crush on likes me. He confessed his feelings to me, but I rejected him. So now she resents me. You have no relationship with her then? I mean, I'm used to things like this already. So don't worry about it. I'm not. What? I'm not a good Samaritan who's trying to help someone that I don't even know. I just couldn't let the bullying that was happening in front of me go. If you're going to say this is your personal problem, that means you should do something about it on your own. <laughs> Why do you look so surprised? Oh, I mean, boy usually gets mad over things like this when it's not even any of their business. They start talking about how they're going to protect me over some strange sense of heroism, as if I'm a princess who can't do anything for herself. Okay. Uh, hey, you literally have no interest in me? We're technically classmates, you know? 
I'm honestly not that interested. Anyway, what was your name again? You're so mean! It's not like I want you to be interested in me, but it's still annoying! What? Huh? I swear that I'm going to make you interested in me! What the hell is this girl saying? That was how I, Tayo Kosaka, and Mika Sagami first met. One year passed and we became second year students in high school. Hey, hey! Ugh. Are you mad now? I'm mad. Yay, yay! We become friends. We were in the same class for sophomore year, too, and Mika was always messing around with me like this. No fear! Well, well, Mika could have messed around with me like that, too. On top of all that, Mika was super popular. She was just too pretty. I stood out because she was always around me, too, so it was honestly a hassle. You're bothering me, so can you stop that already? Whatever. I bet you're actually happy about all this, aren't you? Do I look happy to you? Yep. Did you drop your eyeball somewhere? Because, Tayo, you've been staring at my boobs this entire time. And you're smirking. You're happy, aren't you? Fine, I'll admit it. I'm happy, but is there a problem with that? You're going to be angry now? Either way, you're being way too careless. Am I? Your top is way too unbuttoned, and your skirt is way too short, and you're too good looking. That last sentence was a compliment, wasn't it? Besides, you're way too close to a guy who isn't even your boyfriend. I'm saying that the way that you're not planning anything at all is careless. What? Really? Uh, should I hide my boobs then? Ugh. You're being way too honest. That's not my fault. I'm a boy. Boys are so simple-minded. Do you only care about boobs, legs, and appearances? Don't underestimate boys. We're also interested in ladybugs and baseball and things like that. Even you, Tayo? Well, I'm an indoor guy, so... That has nothing to do with you, then. More importantly, you should be more mindful of how people see you. Or what? Are you curious? About what? My chest. Or my legs under the skirt. <laughs> you can look at them if you want. Uh. If it's you, Tayo, you're free to look to your heart's content. I'm not gonna look. I'm not looking. Are you sure? Are you super sure? Uh. This is your only special opportunity. Uh, I changed my mind. Can I please look at him? He lost his desires. Honestly, my pride can go to shit. All right. Time's up. Huh? So unfortunate I've already buttoned up my shirt. Sadness. <laughs> oh gosh, you're really fun to mess around with. Damn it. This whole year, Meeker has been messing around with me like this. I'm a simple-minded and innocent male high school student. I was always pulled in by Mika's unsound temptations, and she would make fun of me for it. It's such a pity. It makes me so frustrated for Mika to continue messing around with me like this. All right, from now on, I'm not going to be tempted by my desires. I'm going to make Mika learn her lesson. Uh, I don't think that's possible for you, though. Huh? Did she just read my mind? Mika's temptations continued even after that, but... Do you want to touch them? I do! You're so honest about your desires. I can't believe myself! I was entirely pulled under by my desires. You're such a loser, man. <laughs> we can't. We're friends, so you're not allowed to touch me. Uh, I'm gonna quit being your friend then. Uh, did you just betray our friendship? I can touch you if we're complete strangers, right? Do you want to touch me? Uh, I lost a temptation this time, but I'll get her next time around. Hey, do you want me to clean your ears? You can even lay on my lap. Yes, please. 
You really can't help it, can't you? Damn it! Being able to lie in her lap and getting my ears cleaned by her? Just sounded way too alluring for me to resist. You want me to do it that much? I mean, I'm fine with doing that for you. Seriously? I'm kidding. Ugh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't think you'd be that upset. Mm, gosh, fine. Uh, just a little bit, okay? Seriously? Ugh, I lost her at temptations again unconsciously. How is it? Does it feel good? Meow? He turned into a cat? Why do I always get pulled in by her, even though I know that she's clearly just messing around with me? <laughs> That's just what love is. Did she read my mind again? I know everything about you, Tayo. What do you know, then? The pin for your bank account. A privacy breach! This is bad. I have to pull out the $10 I have in my bank account before it's too late! I mean, you only have $9.99 in your account, so you probably can't do that. Why is it such an awkward number? Wait, why does she specifically know that in the first place? At this point, it's just scary. Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> ah! Oops, I put it in too deep. And just like that, I always lost a temptation. I decided to pause and think of a plan. I obviously need to remove any visual temptations first. Mika was too attractive. It was poison to my eyes. When she came on to me with those looks, there was no way I could win. All right, Mika. You need to button your shirt all the way up. What? Are you really okay with that? Of course it's not okay. Why are you so angry? But if you don't do that, I'll have no way to win against her. Sagami really is a cutie. The way she dresses is so revealing, too. Excuse me? Ugh. What makes you think you can stare, huh? You're creepy. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Huh? What's wrong, Tail? I mean, I was just thinking about how you're always like that to other guys, but you basically show it off to me. <laughs> you're special. Does that make you happy? I'm happy. You're so honest. D damn it! <laughs> uh, at this rate, when will I ever be able to win against Mika? It's gonna take a lot more work to make her learn her lesson. One day. <sighs> huh? What's the matter, Mika? You seem kinda down. Mmm, yeah, just a little. What's wrong? Uh, talk to me if something happened. We're friends, aren't we? Don't be shy, I'll lend an ear if something's bothering you. Tayo... I'm really good at giving half-hearted responses. Oh, you're really just going to listen. Ugh, I'm not gonna force you if you don't want to talk about it, though. <sighs> the thing is, someone confessed their feelings to me. Again? Mika was super popular, after all. She was always called out by guys and received confessions of love. Who's the guy? Is he handsome? Yeah, more than you. Seriously? He must be a national beauty. Aren't you overestimating yourself a little too much? Look at my perfectly shaped eyebrows! Um, you missed a spot. Oh, you're right. He's a senior on the soccer team. So, uh, what'd you tell him? I turned him down. What a shame! He was handsome, wasn't he? You know already, don't you? I'm so over romance already. I can't be bothered with love, crushes, dating, couples, and things like that. Mika has always been much more attractive than a normal person, and her personality was likable by guys too. She was just incredibly popular. In elementary school, girls were jealous of her and excluded her from their groups. In middle school, a guy that a certain girl in a big group liked confessed his feelings to Mika, and she was excluded once again, or something like that. She always had problems that dealt with romance, so she had completely become fed up with dating. Why do they even like me? We've barely talked. 
What do they even know about me that makes them want to be in a relationship with me? I don't know that, so it's just creepy. Hmm, it's probably your face. You're brutally honest, aren't you? I mean, I don't really understand it. You've never fallen in love with someone, have you, Tile? To be precise, I don't really know how it feels to actually like someone. Whenever I hear people talk about their crushes or relationships, I always wonder what makes them certain that what they're feeling is love. I think the reason people fall in love with a person's face is to fulfill desires. Wow, you sugarcoated that. I'm a man who knows how to hold back when he needs to. You have no right to say that. You're the most honest guy when it comes to your desires. I understand that I'm thinking too much about it, but I just can't help but wonder. How do people know that they like someone? I don't understand that. What about me then? What do you think about me? You're my enemy. What? You're an enemy who always has fun messing around with me. I wish you said friends instead. I mean, you're technically my friend. <laughs> right? I like that about you, Tayo. The truth is, me too. I feel the most comfortable being with you, Tayo. Other guys always fall in love with me. Without proper context, you just sound like a narcissist. Girls are complicated, too. Is a girl's society that annoying? A girl's world is basically just about one-upping others and forcing others to read in between the lines. That's a lie, isn't it? It's just that the people around you are coincidentally like that, isn't it? I'm sure somewhere out there, there are happy girls who scream and cheer in a field full of flowers. Tayo, your expectations for girls are way too unrealistic. Huh? Reality is so harsh. I mean, I do acknowledge that my experience as a girl isn't normal. A girl's society is so hard. What about boys, then? It's 90% innuendos. What an indecent world. I mean, they are innuendos. Girls and guys can't? The important thing is to compromise for each other, right? As evidence for that, we're friends, right? Yeah, you're right. I feel like I can be true friends with you, Tile. I probably can't do that with other guys. Is it because they end up falling in love with you? Yep. We won't end up like that. Right, Tile? Who knows? What? There's a possibility that you'll fall in love with me, you know? <laughs> Not possible. Man. There's no way I'd fall for you. I mean, I do have a lot of fun being with you. And I think it's nice how I don't have to pretend to be someone I'm not. And the fact that you don't bake things. Without full context, you sound like someone who's completely head over heels for me. I excuse me? It's not like that at all. There's no way I'd like you. You don't have to get that angry. I'm not. Huh? Uh, I I'm going to use the restroom. Yeah? Is it number two? You're so insensitive. <laughs> no, 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 no. No way. There's no way. I, I don't like Tayo. I never, never, ever. Oh, God. Hey, Mika. I forgot to take notes on some sections during class earlier. Can you show me yours? Uh... Mika? What? Uh, oh, yeah, sure, here you go. Thanks. Huh? Your notebook is blank. Oh, really? Do you actually want me to show you mine? Y yes please. Oh god, this is seriously so bad. What do I do? I can't help but look at Tayo. Because of that, I forgot to take notes during class. This is all because Tayo said all those weird things yesterday. I'm starting to overthink things. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Is something wrong? What? N no, it's nothing. Yeah, nothing. Huh? I can't. I can't. The two of us are friends. Yes, friends. Friends. Uh, uh, what the hell is 
What's going on? I always feel comfortable and relaxed around Tayo, but for some reason my chest felt weird today and I didn't want to be around him. What the hell is happening to me? <gasps> Don't tell me I have some kind of illness or something. Huh? <laughs> Is that Tayo and who's that girl? Ah! Wh what are they talking about so happily? <laughs> You're so funny, Tayo kun. Don't make fun of me, Senpai! Senpai? Why is Tayo that close to an upperclassman? <sighs> oh, Sagami san! Thank God! I couldn't find you in the classroom, so I was looking around for you! I'm glad I found you. So, um, about your answer to my confession the other day. Uh, do you think you can think about it again? I seriously like you so much, Sagabi-san, and... Uh, 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 never mind. Uh, some other girl is making fun of Tryo. And he looks like he's having so much fun, too. Gosh, it's so fun messing around with you, tayo -kun. I made fun of by my classmates and by the upperclassmen. Because your reaction is so funny, Tayokan. Think about me and how I feel for being made fun of over a reason like that. Well, what did you say? You want me to make more fun of you? That's not what I said. Really? Did you hate that I made fun of you that much? Yes. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry about that. Then, as my way to make things up for you, do you want to have a touch? I do! <laughs> nope, you can't. You're my underclassman and I'm an upperclassman. You're not allowed to touch, okay? Uh, she got me again! <laughs> After school... Mika told me that she wanted to walk home with me today, so we decided to go home together, but... Uh. For some reason, I felt like she was acting differently than usual. Mika, did something happen again? Mm. Did someone confess their feelings to you again? Mm. Hey, what happened? Why are you so quiet? What happened to you? Uh. What? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Jesus! What the hell? What kind of situation is this? What did Senpai do to you? What? I said, what did she do to you? What are you talking about? I'm the only person who's allowed to mess around with you. What? I saw you happily being messed around with a Senpai. I'm not happy about that. You clearly were. What's up with you? I'm going to overwrite your memories of her. I'm the only one who can play around with you and tease you. Um, I don't quite understand, but uh, are you jealous? Is that what it is? What? I mean, isn't that what this is about? You saw me being close with an upperclassman and you got jealous, right? What? what, what? Uh, of course not. You're so stupid. Stupid, stupid! Are you sure about that? You said that you're the only one who's allowed to tease me earlier. Basically, you want me all to yourself, right? <laughs> hey, your face is super red. Are you okay? <laughs> what? Mika? Mika was absent for a while after that. According to the teacher, she was feeling ill when she finally returned to school. Hey, Mika, uh, did something happen? Nothing. Ugh. Mika had walls built up all around her. Her top was buttoned all the way up, and her skirt was super long. Something definitely happened, though. I told you, it's nothing. Don't lie to me. What happened? Don't be shy. We're friends, aren't we? Friends. <laughs> Try me to guess. What? You have a crush on someone, don't you? That's usually the main reason why people change, isn't it? I don't have experience, so I don't really know, but... It's not fair. What? You're making me feel this way, but you seem to be unbothered. 
Um, I don't really know what's going on, but I'm the one who's always being made fun of, right? Shut up! Oh, you better watch out. I'm going to make you learn your lesson someday. Huh? That's what I was trying to do to you, though, but still. My special privilege just disappeared. Maybe she hates me now. I mean, I kind of had an idea of what was going on already. <sighs> uh... Bonus clip. Uh, Tayo, are there any bento boxes that you like? Huh? Why'd you ask? Are you gonna make me lunch? Excuse me, you're so conceited. It's not like I'm going to make you lunch. Then let's each day of food we like and make lunch for each other. Well, Tayo, you can cook. Yeah, I'm just average. My parents both work, so I have to cook for myself quite often. I mean, I can cook most of the basics if I look at a recipe. Oh. And what foods do you like, Mika? Um, egg rolls. Got it. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited for it. What about you, Tayo? I like paella. Hey, that's so hard. I asked you about things to put in bento boxes. I mean, it's not that hard. Even if I'm a beginner at cooking? I, uh, the thing I like most in bento boxes is rice. You could at least have higher expectations for me. I think I can at least make octopus-shaped sausages. Come on! Should we make lunch together sometime, then? We should! Y yeah? Anyway, why are you suddenly asking things like that? Uh, uh, who, who cares about the reason? My childhood friend, Sarasa Sazazuka, was a girl who had everything. Wow, Sasazuka-san, you had the best scores in our grade again! Yeah... I'm not surprised at this rate, but you really are amazing. Her parents were CEOs of a company, so she was blessed financially. Of course, she was good at both academics and sports. On top of that, she could sing, play instruments, draw, was artistic, and could do basically anything. In comparison, you're... What do you want? On the other hand, I, Riku Rikukawa, was a, well, a pretty boring guy. I wasn't born into a financially well-off family like her and didn't have any special talents. So, of course, I wasn't good enough to be her childhood friend, much less someone who could be in a relationship with her. Because of that... What, is it so bad that I'm in second place all the time? Not at all. It just feels like you're clinging on to me like poop on a goldfish. Choose your words carefully. Second place is pretty amazing, too. I worked my ass off. I wanted to at least try to be a worthy partner. I would study for ten hours when she would have only needed five. And put in effort to fill in that gap we were born with. As a result, I was able to stand shoulder to shoulder with her somehow in most subjects, even if I wasn't ever able to beat her. You don't even need to try that hard. What'd you say? You can just be normal, around average. I can't just get average grades like that when my childhood friend is always scoring first place. I don't really understand that logic, though. Really? Yeah, I'm saying that you're studying way too hard when you're just a student. You're in no place to say that. Besides, what does she mean by just a student? A student's main responsibility is to study. Time passed by and it was now the summer of my senior year. I finally gathered up the courage to confess my feelings to her, but... I can't. What? I ended up with a complete loss. I I'm sorry, but I can't be in a relationship with you. W why? Who cares about the reason? I just can't be in a relationship with you. Well, we promised each other that we'd get married when we were younger, though. You still remember that? That was basically just a promise made by little kids messing around. Do you hate me? Nope, I don't hate you. 
Is there someone else that you like then? No, there's no one like that in my life. I see, got it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I appreciate you confessing your feelings for me, but... In that case, I'm gonna be a better man. What? You don't hate me and you don't have anyone else that you like right now, right? I'll just work harder and be a man who deserves you, if I do that. Don't do that. <sighs> you don't need to do that whole, I need to deserve you or I need to catch up with you kind of thing anymore. I'm not going to fall for you even if you do things like that. Sarasa. See you later. <sighs> Sarasa! <laughs> I'm not gonna give up on you, you got that? <sighs> He's so stupid. Honestly, I was pretty hurt that she turned me down. And I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't upset over it. But at the time, I thought that I could just try again. I was hurt, but not hurt enough to stand back up and try again. But... What? You didn't hear me. I'm going to move away after today. The information I was told a few days later punched my half-healed heart and damaged it even more. M move? Where? Far away. Where exactly is far away? Who cares about where I go? At the very least, it's not somewhere you can go quickly from here. What? Why do you look so shocked? Why? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Was there a reason for me to? Of course there is! I'm your childhood friend and we've been together all this time! There's no reason to. We're childhood friends and but you and I are just strangers. <laughs> Whether I tell you that I'm moving or not is my choice and my choice only. But... Listen, Riku. I'll at least say this clearly. Don't continue to be so obsessed over me and find a different goal for yourself. I can't bear to watch it anymore. <sighs> I just remembered something horrible. A painful memory that pops up in my mind during this time of the year. Four years ago, the day that my first love ended as a failure, and the day I got rejected by the person I loved the most. Even after becoming a businessman and immersing myself in my daily job, those memories haven't been washed away from my mind. Oh, it's the annual sigh! What do you mean by annual sigh? It marks the end of the summer whenever I hear that sigh. I don't compare my sigh to the changing of the seasons. Because you always look so depressed during this time of the year, senpai. Do you have a bad memory or something? The girl who looked into my face as she said that is Mako Toma. She's a junior colleague one year younger than me. Oh yeah, kinda, but... <laughs> I have some too. Bad memories. Oh? Homework that I couldn't get done. The lies that I couldn't help but tell. Don't put me in the same position as you. What kind of businessman is going to be depressed over memories of homework? In fact, I'm so happy that I don't have to deal with that anymore. High school graduates, it's normal to have memories of our days as students fresh in our minds. Don't continue talking as if I'm depressed over homework, too. That's absolutely not the reason. What? Don't tell me you were the type of student who'd probably finished their homework early, senpai. Let's steer away from the subject of homework, yeah? By the way, I did finish my homework early and spend the rest of my summer self-studying. I want to catch up with her. Oh, I just remembered, on a different note... Huh? Please look out for me during our next business trip, okay? 
It's gonna be my first. Yep. I mean, it's not like I'm super used to business trips either. I'll reserve the hotels. Is a twin bed okay? Of course not. First of all, reserve separate rooms. After finishing the work day and getting home. Ugh. A painful memory from the end of summer. Yeah, there's no way I could forget, because... Hello? Hey, it's been a while. What do you mean, it's been a while? You call me at least once a month. It's not my fault. I want to hear the voice of the girl I like regularly. After all, my heart was still hers. <sighs> You're so stupid. Sounds like you haven't found yourself a girlfriend yet. Sounds about right. You can't even see me anymore. Where are you right now? I'm not going to tell you. Besides, I don't even want to see you. I see. <sighs> Can I call you again? Do whatever you want. Mm. What the hell am I doing? By the way, Senpai, do you not have a girlfriend? Why are you asking so suddenly? Oh, I'm just curious. I mean, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Our business trip? What about it? If you have a girlfriend, wouldn't she be unhappy about you going on a business trip with another female? Oh. It's true that some people might be jealous over things like that. Even if it was for work, two people of the opposite gender are gonna travel far away. By the way, I'm totally single! I bet. What's that supposed to mean? If she wasn't single, she wouldn't be asking me to have dinner with her every single time we got off work. So, what about you, Senpai? Do you have a girlfriend? I don't. Yay! Oh, why are you cheering? Even if I did have a girlfriend, there wouldn't be any problems of going on a business trip. That means I can make a move on you, right, Senpai? What? <laughs> make a move? Uh, you... Exactly. I like you, Senpai. So for me, this business trip is also a big opportunity. Oh, of course I'll do my work properly, but, 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 but it's not like we're going to be working the entire day. I can use the rest of my time to bet on my chance for love, can't I? That's probably not something you should be telling me. It's not my fault, Senpai. I've been making so many moves on you, but you haven't given a single reaction. You're Mr. Clueless. That's why I'm going to properly announce it this time around. Oh, but if you really don't want me doing that, you can turn me right down. Even if I get dumped, I'll do my job properly during the trip. You sure about that? Yes, sir! I'll be crying the entire night, though! Hey! That makes it so hard to turn her down. Ah, <sighs> clueless, huh? Now that she mentioned it, she's right. Toma's actions were clearly from someone who has feelings for me. She wouldn't consistently converse with me or invite me to go to dinner if she didn't like me. But the reason I wasn't able to notice all that... It was clearly because of this. Hello? You're always quick to answer, aren't you? You just always call me whenever I'm bored. So, what? What do you want today? Yeah, it's the same as always. There's no specific reason for calling. Then don't call me. I don't even want to hear your voice. You're so mean. Of course I'm mean. I have to be mean to the guy who still hung up over me even though I clearly turned you down. 
From the looks of it, you probably still don't have a girlfriend. Someone confessed their feelings for me today. What? A junior colleague. Apparently, she's had feelings for me for a while. Oh, good for you. There's actually a girl in this world who could love you. Seems like it. In that case... Huh? We have to end it after today, don't we? Our phone calls? <laughs> I mean, that's obvious, isn't it? You don't need to be hung up over me anymore. It's not like that. So that's that. Don't ever call me again, okay? Wait! Goodbye. What? Hey! Uh, this, uh... This is the right thing to do, I think. <laughs> a clingy guy who's still hung up over me, huh? So stupid. Who's the one that's still hung up? Seriously. But all that is over now. Goodbye, Riku. Oh, we're finally here. Uh. Senpai, why'd you look like that? This girl, I can't believe she slept on my shoulder for the entire two-hour bullet train ride. <laughs> but the way you didn't move me was so nice, Senpai. Well, I'd feel bad if I woke you up, so... By the way, I was awake the entire time. You... Come on, I swear. She was fake sleeping? There aren't many chances to get to sleep on your shoulder with your approval, so... <laughs> Goodness. So, what should we do? Should we head straight to the hotel? Let's see, uh... Let's drop our luggage out first and... Oh! Huh? I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna stop by that convenience store to buy a rice ball. Oh, okay, got it! Goodness, I was planning to eat on the bullet train, but I couldn't even do that because she was on my shoulder the entire time. Excuse me! Uh, can you ring me up, please? Huh? Uh, excuse me? Can you please... Riku. What? I heard a familiar voice. And for a moment, my mind went absolutely blank. Because, yeah. There's no way I'd hear that voice here. Sarasa? For four years. I was only allowed to hear this voice over the phone. It was a voice that I couldn't even hear in real life in the flesh. Why? What are you doing here? My first love was standing there. She didn't even glance at the bread I'd place on the counter. She simply continued to stare into my face. Zara? You moved here? Yes, yeah, so what are you doing here? If you didn't follow me here, why are you here? I was. You know, coincidentally here on a business trip. A business trip? I see. That's what it was. No, but I'm really happy. It was a coincidence, but I was able to reunite with my childhood friend. Okay, good for you. I'm not really happy, though. Come on, you're the same as always, huh? We've been friends for over 10 years, you know? Even if we've been friends for a long time, it doesn't matter if we're not together now, does it? So what? Is this all you need? Yeah, and also, one of the fried snacks. Senpai, what's the matter? Huh? I came inside because I wanted to buy something too, but were you just talking to the cashier? Um, let me introduce you two. This is Sarasa Sazazuka, my childhood friend. 
I've known her since preschool. Hello. Whoa, your childhood friend! Yeah, she moved here during high school and we haven't seen each other since. But she was coincidentally working here. That's crazy! It's a fateful reunion! I'm jealous! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, all right then, I don't want to intrude on your reunion, so I'll just wait outside. What? But weren't you gonna buy something? It's fine, it's fine. You two are childhood friends who've been apart for a while. You must have a bunch to talk about. I can buy food elsewhere. Okay, got it. All right then, take your time. Is she the one? Huh? The girl who confessed her feelings for you? I'm surprised you figured that out. Of course I would. The way she looked at you was the same. The same? Yeah. Who is she comparing that to? Um... You should go. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. You know that, don't you? Forget that you saw me here and head home right after your business trip. You're right. Got it. Of course I had a lot to talk about. I wanted to know what she was doing. I wanted to know she was okay. I wanted to know she was happy. I wanted to know she had a boyfriend. Things like that. There were a bunch of things I wanted to ask her and talk about. But I knew that she had no intention of telling me a single thing. I could tell from the moment I looked into her eyes. See ya, Sarasa. Yeah. I'm happy that I was able to see you. I wish you well. You... too. Huh? You're done already. Yep. It's only been about five minutes since I left. You could have talked a bit more. It's fine. We didn't have that much to talk about. Hmm? But still, it was strange. Strange? Oh yeah, my childhood friend. The fact that she was working part-time at a convenience store. Huh? I mean, isn't it normal? If she's the same age as you, she should be a college student. Well, yeah, but her parents are CEOs of a company. She should be able to live quite comfortably without having to work. CEO? Um, you said that her last name was Sasazuka, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Is that company perhaps the Sasazuka Corporation? Oh, you know about it? It's not that popular of a company, so I didn't think there were people who knew about it, but... That company went bankrupt about four years ago from what I remember. What? Senpai, you were her childhood friend, but you didn't know about it? I mean, a company's bankruptcy won't appear on the news unless it's a big corporation, so you probably wouldn't know about it if you didn't search it up yourself. Oh. Four years ago? Four years ago was when... You didn't hear me? I'm going to move away after today. N no way. There's no way. Senpai, what's wrong? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Oh. Stop it, don't think about it. There's no point in thinking about it. It's already in the past. After all, she didn't tell me a single thing that day. She didn't tell me where she was moving or why she was moving. Not even the reason why she turned me down. The following day, after completing our task for this business trip, we returned to the train station. All right, let's head home, Senpai. Oh, Senpai? Huh? You've been blanking out this entire business trip. I'm sorry, I wasn't intending to. Is there something on your mind? Huh? You look like you still have something you need to do, Senpai. But that's not... That's not... True, at least how it was supposed to be, but... Ah! What? I lost your train to get back home, Senpai! What? Oh, what a problem! Oh, Senpai, I don't think there's any seats left for this train! So that's 
what? I'm sorry. I'm going to head home first, senpai. Please come back on the next train. Is that okay? What do you mean? I'm the one who lost your train ticket. Or would you like to use my ticket to head back to Tokyo first instead? No, thank you, Toma. No worries. <sighs> Good luck, senpai. Sarasa! Huh? <sighs> you surprised me. What are you doing? Why are you so out of breath? Thank God! I found you! Oh, don't tell me you came to look for me again after everything I said to you. You need to quit it already, I swear. Your parents went bankrupt, didn't they? Huh? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Why are you apologizing? Of course you didn't know. I never told you. Don't tell me the reason you moved away was... Yeah, the rent is cheaper here. I mean, the biggest reason was because my dad was uncomfortable living in the area. So that's why I'm working part-time like this and helping pay back my dad's debt. Oh. So, what? Now that you found out, are you here to pity me? No, of course not. I want to know why you never told me about it. If you told me, I could have helped a little bit. I think so. What? You'd probably help me, I bet. You'd sacrifice your time, your money, and your future for it. Exactly. You've always been like that. You weren't smart and didn't have an ounce of athletic skill. That guy is your childhood friend, isn't he, sasazuka san He isn't really a good match for you, is he? What? You should stop hanging out with him. He's gonna drop your worth if you're around him. Hey, stop saying things like that. The moment you found out that I was defending you, you started working so hard to reach up to my academic and athletic skills. Y you're amazing, Riku! You got the second best grade on the recent test! Yeah, thank God. I was seriously so surprised. I can't believe you did that. I don't have to make you feel uncomfortable now, right? What? I'm sorry about everything, for always making you defend me. But you don't have to do that anymore. You always used to hang out with me, but you stopped doing that too. You would sacrifice your sleep and fun just to catch up to me. You were someone who would do everything and anything for me. So if you found out that something bad happened to me, I knew that you'd try to follow me down that hole too. I knew that you'd be miserable with me. That's why... That's why I didn't want you out of everyone to know! <laughs> because I... I can't bear to see the person I like become miserable because of me. Are you miserable? Of course I am. We went bankrupt. We're drowning in debt. Forget about living the life I lived before. I have to struggle every single day just to survive. You'll get nothing other than unhappiness from being associated with someone like me. Don't get it wrong. <laughs> I never tried to do anything for you, Sarasa. Not even once. I was doing it all for myself. I did everything that I did so that I could confidently stand next to the person I liked. I was doing it for my own happiness. Don't make me out to be miserable. Now decide my own happiness. Riku... See ya. What? what? Wait, where are you going? What do you mean? I'm going home. You're going to sail that and go home? I mean, I have work tomorrow too. I mean, you probably do, but... What? You don't want me to leave after turning me away all this time? Uh, it's not like that. Again. <gasps> Can I call you again? It, yeah. Okay, I'll call you again tonight then. Okay, um, from now on, you can call me at least once a week. Don't be stupid. I'll call you every single day from now on. 
Bonus clip. Show? Yeah? Nothing happened with that junior colleague of yours? Nope. Really? You don't have dinner together with her or anything like that? We don't. I mean, I don't think it's bad to have dinner, but... I don't want you to. You can't. What? Why are you so quiet? Nothing. I'm just amazed that you're jealous even when we haven't even started dating yet. We're just not dating yet. We're going to date in the future. We have to. You don't have to be so particular about it. Nope. You have to wait until my living situation settles down. Because I'm the one who has to catch up to you now. Senpai, I'm such a good colleague, so I found a restaurant where you can eat delicious desserts. What? Where? It's near the place we went to on our business trip. What?